Brian Laundrie left behind glimpses into his psyche through his artwork, including a set of prints featuring a cartoon woman's mouth being smothered in blood-red paint. In an Instagram snap posted last year, the late ex-fiancé of Gabby Petito exhibits multiple black and white lino-cut prints of a Sleeping Beauty look-alike character with red paint muzzling her mouth strewn next to a paperback book of author Chuck Palahniuk's book Lullaby. He captioned the image, reading is different than any other consumption of media, it takes more effort, that staring at a screen half alive, it allows you to use your brain, rather than melt it, and there is no author more stimulation to me than at Chuck Palahniuk number Linocut number Linica print number lullaby number Invisiblemonsters number bookstagram number art. Lullaby is a horror satire novel published in 2002. It tells the story of journalist Carl Streeter, who is writing an article about crib death, when it dawns on him the odd connection between the deaths of the babies and those of his own wife and infant. He then finds out that his wife and child had died after he read the McCulling song from a book. Unintentionally, he memorizes the rhyme and becomes a serial killer who kills people over minor annoyances. Two weeks ago, one online commenter dug into laundry, suggesting the cartoon female vandalizing prints elicit the young man's darkness. He's so very intentional, the post reads. This was no accident. Web sleuths have been poring over Laundry's artworks ever since 22-year-old Gabby went missing during the couple's cross-country van life adventure. They put society comforts on hold, hitting the road on July 2 in Gabby's white 2012 Ford Transit Connect from their home in Northport, Florida, to tour the country's national parks, stopping in Kansas, Colorado, and Utah along the way. Only Brian returned alone in Gabby's van back to Florida without Gabby on September 1st. Their other provocative hand-drawn images posted by Laundry to his Instagram page at Bizarre Design months before the engaged couple embarked on their road trip. One posted on July 8, 2020, shows what appears to be a man wearing a wolf mask, sat in a chair and holding a blood-soaked knife, with red splatters up his arms and legs. Behind the subject's head is a red circle, with three other animal mask-wearing figures holding guns and a bat. Other laundry drawings that he showed off online attempt to weave his own touches on popular culture and classic horror. He reimagines Simpsons characters to Tim Burton monsters. In one graphic image titled, Grim Reaper Leading Sheep to the Slaughter, laundry shows a herd of sheep surrounded by ghoulish figures wielding scythes. Some of the reapers are carved into mousetraps and outlined in bright red. Another piece which Laundry described crafting with pen and watercolor shows Frankenstein's monster chained to a chair made of rock and wood. In the image, which is in black and white, the monster has shackles around his ankles, feet, and neck. That's gonna be you soon, wrote one commenter. Integrating blacklight form, a red skeleton is shown off with its arms in the air and mouth agape, looking up as red splatters, resembling blood, surround it. Laundry's skeletal remains were identified through his dental records after they were discovered by some of his belongings in the Myakahatchee Creek which is part of the 24,000-acre swampland that makes up the Carlton Reserve. So far, it's unknown who the young man died. It's not known what's inside Laundry's notebook or if it contains anything at all. The grim discovery ended the five-week manhunt for Laundry. Petito's remains were found near the camping area in Bridger Teton National Forest on September 21 after her family reported her missing on September 11, sparking a widespread search. Two days later, coroners in Wyoming listed her likely cause of death as the result of a homicide in a preliminary report. Teton County Coroner Drive Brent Blue confirmed that Gabby Petito died by strangulation during a press conference on Tuesday afternoon. That same day, a federal arrest warrant for Brian was issued accusing him of swiping more than $1,000 of a debit card that is believed to be Gabby's sometime between August 30 and September 1, according to the indictment. He was named as the only person of interest in Gabby's murder.